Okay, hi, this is Divya Pandit here. So let's start with our next zodiac sign, that is Aquarius. Aquarius, August 2022. So let's see what we have for Aquarius. So let's see what we have for Aquarians in the first week, second week, third week and fourth week. Aquarians are going through a lot of uh, mental transformation I feel. They are realizing a lot of things in their life. Okay, the inner conflicts they have had sort of you know they feel very cheated, very betrayed at, in life. Somewhere that is transforming right now. This is the first week. Okay, the first week will come with a lot of, um, I will say it is more like a fear, like an insecurity, uh, where they are going to disconnect emotionally, where they had left the space, uh, you know, somewhere, you know, just leaving some kind of space emotionally. They don't feel empowered anymore. They feel abandoned. They feel like victimized, my god, so many negative words. However, the reason why they are feeling like this, Aquarius, is because of their... See, there are two sides of an Aquarius. One is a very emotional side and one is a very aggressive side. Okay? They are conflicted between these two sides of their nature. Because of that, they are not feeling good within themselves. The surrounding which is there around them, maybe a female, I see strongly a female around them who is trying to create a conflict or probably there will be a conflict with this person and that will make them feel that way because in one part of them wants to love, wants to be nice and the other part of them actually is very aggressive. So the first week you are going to go through Aquarius, a lot of conflict with you. Okay, a lot of emotional conflict, whether to be harsh or to be nice. Um, there's a lot of insecurity, there's a lot of arguments possibly with each other, with someone. So please be careful. The second week, you're coming together. You're coming together with someone, possibly in partnership, possibly the person you had an argument fight with, you're coming back with that person. So there's a lot of soulmate energy, a lot of uh, together energy maybe it's your friend or your loved one anybody it could be okay the second week you're coming together third week third week is all about clear communication hmm? this is more like a karmic thing that you're going through Aquarius in the month of August it's a lot of karmic energy around there's a clear communication with someone okay a very good clear communication Possibly with the person you already had an argument with. And the fourth week. Fourth week you are going to take a back, back step because you are not feeling good mentally. Right? So when you are not feeling good mentally, what do you do? You just take a back step. You think. Right? You try to keep yourself calm. You are a, you are a little on guard on the fourth week. So Aquarians, you have to be very careful in the month of August. When it comes to dealing with people around you, um, getting into arguments, just take a back step, think and then take action. That's what my advice is in the month of August for you. Okay, especially the first and the fourth week. Also, there could be travel on cards to some people. Also, there could be a lot of money investments coming towards you also. Right? So, there are good things also. At the same time, you need to take care of all the uh, arguments, all the, you know, uh, negative relationship issues that you could face in the month of August. Right, right. So, yeah, let's see what we have in your relationship area now. Yeah. 
relationship day. Okay, so Aquarians in your relationship area, right now you're not ready to make a choice. Possibly you were waiting to make a choice, but right now you're not. Okay, you are coming out of some control. There is a lot of yellow, 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 yellow. So there's a lot of personal power issue here. Possibly uh, you're reaching out through others to your life partner. Possibly if you're married, then definitely you'll take somebody's help to repair the relationship. Um, here you really need to work on your personal power here there is a lot of control issues possibly you get controlled or you control right you don't know half the time that because of this what are you arguing and fighting about what are the fights happening about right here the more you work on your solar plex the more your environment is going to change people don't understand that when we work on our control the surrounding control issues, like if somebody is trying to control us, not listen to us, starts getting better. Yeah, so please choose your battles. Choose your battles because somewhere, some people are going to take time off. They're going to think, uh, maybe they'll take a back step from relationship. They're going to go and think, heal, meditate. Uh, then they will come forward and rebuild an old relationship, most of you. And the rest who are single and wanting to start, definitely there is still time to come together with someone. So possibly not in August, you would still think and then take a step. So it will take a little more time, right? So it will be more of a family, family coming together than a proper lovers coming together in the month of August, right? Yeah. So let's see what we have for you in relationship. I mean, uh, fairy message. <laughs> fairy message, fairy message. Okay. Fairy message. Hope. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change the negative situation into positive. Right? So, keep hope and keep manifesting and see how things change. That is your very message. And that's all for today. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. I put a lot of information there. WhatsApp me for paid appointments only and email me for paid appointments only. That's all for today. Goodbye, God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.